everyone welcome to little talks where little things matter yes guys thank you to all our followers and all our friends that have always been tuning in to our show we love you and we just appreciate you so much and if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscription button so that whenever our show comes up you'll be the first to get a notification now let's dive into it now on little talks today we'll be talking on Mental, Mental health. health. Yes. So, Lola, <laughs> Lola, you look so nice today, actually. You do too. You know. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do you understand by mental health? Um, you see, mental health um, is a state of well-being mm. where an individual gets to know his or her own ability. Yeah. And it has to do with you know your psychological, your mental, your emotion and uh, everything that has to do with you, your health generally. Mm -hmm. And it also helps you in dealing with certain situations or handling certain situations. Yeah. You know, I feel like mental health is such an issue that people don't like talking about. Mm -hmm. And whereas this is so something that has to do with the overall, overall well-being of our mind, you know, because it tends to affect our psychological, emotional, everything about us even down to how we handle stress and how we relate to other people so you see the issue of the mental health is really really a big turn on the world today so let's dive into it so um we have different types of mental health we have stages in mental health yeah. we have different reasons why people go through mental health now we, uh, we're going to be talking about the reasons first now, why do people go into mental health? Why do people go through the phase of mental health? Now, there are different reasons, and most importantly, we need you to know that mental health most times could be from um, could be trans uh, to be, could be transferred. Yeah, genetically. It could be, yeah, it could be yeah. from your genetic. Like it could be biological um, sickness in the family. Probably there is a family history of mental yeah. health. Mm -hmm. Now, these things also it's um, these things also are reasons why people go through mental health. And people also go through mental health due to trauma. Yeah. Like um, they've gone through uh, a particular phase in life. Um, they've gone through some uh, some drama in their life. So this trauma also um, it also affects, affects how, they, how they, relate, used, yeah. Yeah, they relate with people and also their mental health. Mm -hmm. Even they have um, environmental mental health things that are caused by the environment, mm -hmm. how you grow up. You know the yeah, community you, you found yourself in. Our our emotion, our, yeah. yeah I stand, you know, when you say <laughs> mushy person, you know this person is from mushy. Well, for us that are not yeah. from mushy, we don't Damn. understand. I'm not from mushy, but you know, yeah. when you see an Ikorodu person, you know this you person is from Korodu. When you see an Aramoko person, hmm, and an Aramoko person, <laughs> you know what we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, you see, it really goes a long way from our community, our families, how we are built, how we are, mm -hmm. you know, how we are brought up. It really affects the things we say and the things we think about to a very long run. Now there are different types of mental health issues and some of the signs of mental health issues is depression. You know, that's like the major form of mental health issues, the sign, depression. And depression has to be, deal with, you know, you being sad most of the time, you thinking about Being deep in your thoughts. Yeah, that's just how it comes up as depression. And funny thing is stuff like this they start bit by bit. You don't really know when it starts. But then you just find yourself being depressed. And the thing they are they're like early like early stages of mm. or early signs of mental health. And these signs are something that most people ignore. Like they see it as a normal thing. Now these um, signs are when you eat or sleep too little or yeah. too much. When you see yourself always eating every minute, or you tend to you, you tell yourself, uh, you know, what I don't have the appetite to eat today. Or you ask, how many times have you eaten today? You you've not eaten at, at all. all. And saying, I don't have the appetite to eat. Now these things are something you should be aware of. You should yeah. you know try to look into it and make sure that you are fine. You see, even this particular um, point you just mentioned, it's very important because the signs are things we tend to say, oh, they are normal mm -hmm. stuff, they are normal things. Like even a slight headache, we'll just be like, okay, it's just malaria, and we just go. Have you, what about, have you really checked 
how your mental health is how sound are you and this is something people don't really talk about like growing up or at some stage in my life someone asked me on a scale of one to ten what's your mental health level and i said okay i was like four or five about then but then the person was like oh really how are you what's happening why what are you okay and i was like ah, what's happening four or five is enough for you as a matter of fact that was the first time Okay. An individual, anybody is asking me really about how my mental health is. Like I don't even have an idea of what my mental health is because we don't talk about it. Nobody asks us, we don't ask individuals, how's your mental health? How are you feeling? It's something we don't just talk about. So at that point, I feel like, what are we talking about? Because I no, don't know mental, what we're talking mental about. Mental health is one of those things that has really been underrated yeah like people see it as a not yeah it becomes all. a part of all yeah it, especially this part of africa that yeah. we are in we see it as a not like it's 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 um something we don't really mm. care about yeah as long as we are alive as long as we are living <clears throat> we see it as nothing of which is a very bad very bad you know very I, bad sorry i was watching a woman a lady and she she was a mental health therapist like i didn't even know they actually have mental health therapies that that's their sole job and she was like most of the people that come to her you know what those individuals grow up with is when you say when you don't feel depressed if you are depressed you are lazy if you have a mental health distress you are lazy or you just take it to the lord of prayer like it's just the mentality that we get but this is really normal things that goes on in our daily lives and we're being affected and we should be able to talk about it without feeling a pressure that we are going to be judged or we are going to be disregarded by the society or whatsoever you know now um, another sign of mental health is you know when you when you get uh, when you start feeling these unexplained pains all over your body either your joint pain or you start um, having this unexplained mood swings yeah. that affect your relationship like when I say I mean your relationship generally your friends your colleagues every on every relationship you're having if you know you notice your mood swing begin to affect you have yeah. mood swings frequently um, you you think you have this thought of arming yourself mm -hmm. you know these things are signs of um, a very down mental health yeah and the funny thing is we just say okay I have a mood swing it's normal even and even individual people say I have a mood swing like okay it's normal so come up no the, you know, the thing you is know? the thing is mood swing to some extent is normal but when you have it frequently, frequently yeah when you have like every time someone is asking you what's wrong the only answer you have to your problem is mood swing my sister my brother you have to check something is yeah wrong. you have to check like that, yeah. you don't just take it as it's normal because no it's not actually you have mm -hmm. to check what's going on at that point. deep down yeah there is another thing called persistent depressive disorder now this has to do with individuals who are constantly sad for, for a very long period of time. They don't think about harming themselves or going, you know, suicidal, but they are sad. And these are individuals that they'll come up to the public and they have the largest smile. They have the, they are the loudest or they are happy when you see them. But they're like the down, most happiest people yes, you meet. Active, yeah, but deep down, when they go home, they know what they are dealing with personally. All those two-faced people. Uh, yeah, you know, outside they are with there. You know, most times but inside they are not. What most they times, are. I wouldn't. It's not their fault. It's not our fault. I feel like everybody at some point goes through this stage, especially here in Africa, because most times people are judged. Okay, fine. You could actually talk about your situation to someone, but the response the person gives you back, then at the end of the day, you just fall back. Oh well, I I'll get over it. And before you know, you are spending a lifespan being happy on the outside, but on the inside, you are just gonna, this is not working. And most times, she even I don't know if I should use the word regret talking to yeah. someone about it. Yeah, you know, you know, there are times when you talk to someone, you think, I think I would have been better keeping this to myself. You understand? Right. Like when you get when you hear their response, you would have you no no no, no you know you get to I don't know why people do that at times, but. Most times, I feel it's when um, you're only seeing things from your own point of view. Yeah. 
you're not seeing from what the person is telling you. Mm. You're only, like you're judging on your own experience. Yeah. And we might not relate to what the not person is saying. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not relating, relating to what, to what the, the person, person is saying. saying. Yeah. It's really a big one. Now, another sign is when you constantly isolate yourself from people yes. or from activities that you oh, normally yes. do. When you this notice is a big that. One. This, is a big, this, this isolation of the stuff, people just tend to develop over time and before you know they'll be like, I'm an indoor person. And before you know it, it just becomes a thing I'm an indoor person. But check it. But you know there's, you know we have introverts and intro, uh, extroverts. Yeah, but not for individuals that we're extroverts and all of a sudden they started withdrawing. Withdrawing, you know, okay. at that point, that's where you have to check. Okay, maybe something is wrong with this Some. individual, yeah. Why is the person drawing back? You know, this person is not like this. No, it's only normal if you are an indoor person in a general sense. But when you wear an outdoor person, but maybe due to some experience, you start to drain back. It could affect your mental health. Maybe that's why. So, another point of mental health issues is um, anxiety. And I think it also comes into this um, isolation so, of a thing. Yeah. So, you know, when people feel you, the fear of, fear of everything, actually. The fear of everything. Okay, um, I'm going for a trip. How is my family? How will I make it to the, my destination? Am I going to be safe? You know, you just have fear of that. You are just clouded. You know, your 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 head is. Oh my God, overwhelmed. Yes, you are just overwhelmed by anxiety, by fear of the unknown. You know, it could be a sign of mental health because you are constantly thinking, what could happen? I think I have a friend. Who was really um, an outdoor person, very social. And along the line, something happened, but then the person starts developing this feeling of anxiety. You know, she she became so anxious of everything, every single move. She has to, like check it twenty times before she say yes, before she say no. She, you know, she has to be very, very critical. You know, it's a sign of mental health because. Okay, so um, another type of mental health issues um, is anger. Yeah, you know those. We have some um, some certain type of people that get angry every time. You know, we see them as angry people, not angry birds. <laughs> now that's how they are. Now it's um, it's one thing to to have anger issue. Yeah, is another thing to have. Anger, mental health issue. It's normal to be angry. It's normal to get not to be angry. To get angry and in some situations, you can't always smile. But you see, there there are some um, there's some type of people that even when you're cry, when you're making joke, when you are cracking jokes with them, you take it off. You know, you're always taking things personal. Yeah. Uh -huh. now, those kind of people, those type of personal people, are the ones on this table now. Mm. So it's um, being angry frequently is a very um, I don't would I would I say okay let's just say it's a type of mental health. Yeah. Don't let me use word big type of mental health. It's big, but you know what thing about we have bigger things. types. <laughs> but you know That's what thing about use the word these big. individuals? They will never agree. They will never admit. It's, it's it's a mental health issue. They will exactly. tell you that that's just their personality. You don't do this this way. You don't do this this way. Why would you do this? Why would you do that? But you can have anger as your personality. Yeah, it's so thank possible. You. you can have anger as your personality. As a, it's a mental health it's, issue. Exactly. It's an issue. It's and not it a personality. You should be checked. You see a doctor. Please do. <laughs> anyway, Please do. another type of form of mental health issue is PTSD. It's a um, post-traumatic stress, stress disorder. disorder. Yeah, you know, although stress is not really a type of mental health issue, but then it leads it's a but precursor it yeah it's, it's the straight way to mental health issue you know when you keep working and working no break tired, no break you definitely be depressed at some point and you just be like oh my goodness what am i doing okay i'm not happy you get to be unhappy you're not enjoying what you are doing anymore because you are you know you're stressed you're stressed you don't have don't take a rest for a moment and for the post-traumatic stress disorder, it's probably 
for individuals that had you know abusive relationships or traumatic experience in the past maybe a robbery or something you know over time they keep remembering the memory they have nightmares and it's a post-traumatic stress it affects it this one is a big type because a lot of people a lot of people don't know how to move on after such experience yeah, trauma it's really very difficult i know so many individuals who are in this particular position there are many and one thing about it because of our society people don't talk about it people don't talk about it you know people don't talk about it because they are scared of the stigma yeah and it shouldn't you be so you can i can't come to you after being okay let's use rape for an example yeah i wouldn't come to you after being raped to tell you i was raped the, the thing is i would have this fear in me that when next you see me you're you, you're looking at me as a raped person yeah. you know the stigma about that uh, yeah as a victim mm. you know the stigma of that girl was just raped but, um this girl is someone this girl is like this. i think it's because of how we're built actually it's not supposed to be like that it's not supposed to be so these are issues that we need we definitely need someone to talk to because there is no way there are some issues that we tell ourselves that okay fine i'm going to deal with it by myself but you can't actually at the long run you're just going to be down and mentally not you become mentally insecure you know we talked about insecurity the last time you become mentally insecure because your well-being and your psychological state is not in kind with the normal world anymore you start isolating yourself and before you know you that individual could harm herself or so just to get a get off the burden like have you ever felt depressed so sad you just be like oh my god if i take my life that's <laughs> die that's that's all everybody will just be but i don't know how before. ocean you know? you know this fear of what makes you think ending your life now you will continue to struggle after you know they, they, there's this saying that life after death does it there's nothing like that <laughs> no you know no it's one thing like keep you yeah. know there's, there's this thought like it's it's what okay. just comes to it babe if you kill yourself now nah, nah, life after that death you, that you just continue, continue from there <laughs> it's, it's really so, crazy though please Suicide is not an option. It's not an option. No it's matter not, what. No you matter think. what you're going through, suicide is yeah. not an option. You should always seek for help. So, so we have so there's, many things. There's always a solution to your problem. There's always a solution. Always. I w- Forget. There's always a solution. I want to like keep reminding myself whenever I'm down because mental health issues like it's either you accept it or you accept it. We all go through it. I go through it. You go through it. At some point in time, most time. I might be facing anxiety over a particular thing. It might be, it, it, it happens. It happens all the time. So that's why we should be open because it's a general, <laughs> a, a guy said it's a general pandemic, more like COVID. It's a worldwide situation. Everybody goes through it. So it's normal and we should always talk about it. So one thing I always tell myself is I'm not the only one. This, my partic- this particular situation I'm going to someone, somewhere, went through it and the person is still alive and besides i'm not yet dead so there's always hope when there is life of course now these are many more are coming your way just stay tuned we'll be right back and when we're back we'll be dealing on how to maintain our mental health and stay safe we'll be giving you guys some tips and i hope you learned so much from here so catch you don't go nowhere welcome to this yes this is matters and on this show, we are going to be touching every aspect of our daily lives that really matters but has been ignored. Little things like who in this 21st century own a business with no social media page. Uh-uh. And on time management, some business owners resume work by 11 a.m. And please do not tell me you're still in that relationship with a baby that for 2K urgently. 2K urgently. Just that. Or the baby that asks you to solve for her. You. Now, these are the little things we are talking about and we are going to be sharing it with you guys. And trust me, you do not want to miss it for no reason. Mm-hmm. Now, to be part of this show, join us on Sun TV every Saturday, 7.30pm to 8pm. We remain your humble host. We have our faith, Kazim Amolola. Now, let's go! So, welcome back, guys. Now, as we said before we went on break, 
we'll be talking on ways to maintain mental health. Now, ways to maintain positive mental, mental health. health. Yes. Now, the first is getting professional help. Mm. Please, if you notice any breakdown, any mental breakdown, any yeah. mental, anything mentally, and you think you need help, please go for it. There is no shame in seeking help. There is no stigma in um, seeking for help. There is nothing negative seeking for help. The fact that you're even seeking help is a very good one, and it deserves an accolade. Yeah. So, um, I could remember um, this NSAS um, period, period yeah. the NSAS process we had. Mm. I was mentally down. Like after you know going on social media. Seeing what's stories, happening. see what's happening in states, um, the lives so of people we nurse. Those things made me. As I had to go off social media for like three days, I think. Like my phone was off. No calls. Because every call I, I received was, oh, hope you are safe. Yeah. Um, I had the cute so, so, so people, uh, person at mm -hmm. this, are you okay? Um, is there any crisis in your, uh, is, there any, is there any fight in your area? You know, I was receiving calls on violence. I was receiving, even when I was in a line, people were calling to give me updates. Wow. And those things made me, as in, it really, really affected my mental, mental health. health. So, um, okay, there was a friend with me as at that time. So I spoke with the person. I, I couldn't, I was having sleepless nights. Yeah. Anytime I closed my eyes, I was seeing the NSAS protests. I was wow. seeing the soldiers, um, the, uh, this, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I was seeing, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, I was having headache for two days straight. So I spoke with her. You know, I was, I was, I thought, I told myself if I could, you know, chat with someone, maybe I would. But the person that was with me at that time wasn't helping. That person wasn't helping, and I know the person is watching. <laughs> so I told the person about it, and you know, like. Uh, you don't even know more. You're like, now you sabi. I don't wow. understand. Uh, and you're even like, ah, it's social media. You are doing. You are acting like this. What if it's real life? Mm -hmm. What if it's affecting it you? Real. It no, the person, uh, you know, it, you are not so there yeah, and it's yeah. affecting you this much. What if it was something that happened in your presence? How would would you faint with them? Would you, yeah. you know, those things? And it wasn't helping. So I just, you know, I had to overlook the person and I seeked for professional help. help. I spoke with a friend that. A professional, a friend of mine who is a professional, mm -hmm. and I told him about you know, I said, okay, um, let's do this. Yeah. After this, like after we, after this talk, after this conversation, try going out of, you know, try going off social media for mm -hmm. days. Um, use this. He, person even had to prescribe for me. Okay, use for because having a deck and stuff. So yeah. use this, use this, and go off social media. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it works. I did that for three days and I was back to. My oh my full woman being <laughs> like I was yeah. I was whole again. So you know when I came back online, I was still seeing stuffs, yeah. but it it didn't really affect her. Yeah, it. I could I could yeah. then undo what I was seeing. Yeah. And to the point I was even the one searching. You know when you go on Twitter, yeah. hashtag the trends. I was on searching for trends and I could undo it after the break. Now yeah. now I you know uh, I thought I also thought after that. If I had not seen the professional help, help, what would have been of me? Like, what would I, where really? would I be? Yeah. Because at that time, as in that point, I could, you know, it's, it's also something I could laugh about now. But you know, I, I alone can understand or can, I, felt I felt at that, that at that point. So it's just, see, I think God beg you, if you know you need it, if you know you seriously That's need it, point. just go for it. There's no shame in it. I'm here talking about it today. What if I had not? Yeah. What if I had not done it then? To be Where a would I be? There's a be a different story with me right now. Yeah. So if you know you do, if you know you do need it, seek professional help. Yeah. You don't necessarily. If it, the thing is, most people think seeking professional help has to do with money. Like, oh, I don't have the money to seek professional, professional help. help. Professional help doesn't necessarily. Have, it could be a. Excuse me. It could be um. A friend of yours who is more matured, or someone yeah. who, someone you know that can undo yes. that uh, situation, situation better, better than yeah, you are exactly. handling it at that time. It's, it doesn't necessarily you going to an office, um, looking, seeking for consultation, um, paying consultation fee and stuff. 
talking to someone alone is seeking for help yeah. someone who you know is matured enough to help you out of it but then even to the long run there might be a point you just you might get to a point like i don't want to talk about talk to anyone from if it means you're going for consultations, you can also go. Mm -hmm. They have professional therapists everywhere. They are, thank God that we are developing and we are moving forward. We have therapists in Nigeria and thank God for Google and everything. You, you can, can find them online. online. Exactly. You can find them online. All you have to do is send a text and pour out your heart to these individuals mm -hmm. who are secured. Make sure your source is secured first of all. But then you have them and they can talk to you and respond to you very well and one thing i've noticed that therapists do that they prescribe for you know their individuals that come to them is when dealing with mental health you can go on to practice yoga you know it has to do with meditation so, yeah. you, um, <laughs> you know you just meditate it, it, that if you go for a therapeutic section then we definitely recommend that section for you because it actually helps not done it. I will do it. Well, I know it helps. Like I've it I has well, to do with meditation. I haven't done it on yeah. prescription. But you know, I was wondering what these people feel anytime they close it. I and, do. Mm -hmm. So I tried it. I don't know. It was nothing to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love the idea behind yoga, meditation and everything. But definitely it's something a wide variety of those professionals recommend so it's really something nice then other ways to you know maintaining our mental health yeah. is when someone asks comes to you and say oh my goodness i'm feeling some kind of emotional distress you know most times people will say ah i don't know what to do i don't know what to say how is he doing you is he headache and first of all let us have this thing you know from, from the other perspective, okay, we are not the ones with the mental health issues. We are the ones, like, they came to us. Let's learn to have listening ears. So many people don't have listening ears. Not just any listening ears, but listening ears without judgment. And do you know the thing is, most people do not even need prescription or advice. All they need is someone to pour out their Exactly. So like, they only, need, to... yeah, so they only need someone to tell how they feel. And most people don't get judged. And the thing is, it happens to me. There are times I feel um, like I feel a, I feel pressure. I feel, I feel well, pressure. Yeah. I feel, so I, I know there are times I feel I need advice. I need someone to talk to. I, but I got to know that after say pointing out my heart to you, I feel you know relieved. Yeah. I feel, and most times there's nothing you say. I, mean, I just feel I just feel fucking soft. Feel, yeah. Just telling you without you saying anything. I just feel soft. Mm. So you know it's and that's also you know you know, that once you just learn to listen to people, learn to pay attention, not listen. You know, just mean they just listen while they, they, they're yeah. distracted doing something else. Listening now, ear, just listen while you pay attention. You know, pay attention to what the person is saying, mm -hmm. even when you have nothing to say in return. Just make sure you pay attention with less. Don't. What, what have, less, don't judge the person. Yeah. Because you don't know what the person okay, this, has. this is where the root is. People just feel, oh, the stigma, okay, if I should tell you this, mm -hmm. you're going to start judging me and seeing. But can't we just all be, you know, just listen. Listen and say something nice. Like, now, you know, um, to the next is connecting with people. Yeah. You know, connect with people, stop the isolation. Always try to you know, be friendly. I'm not the friendly kind of person. Please, you know, learn to relate with and people. Mingle, mingle you know? with people. It really helps. Socialize, you know, be social. Exactly. Socialize with people. Now, these things also improve your mental health. And another thing that helps to, you know, improve mental health is doing the things you love doing. Mm -hmm. This works personally for me. What I love doing, although I don't know how to dance, but when I am feeling a kind of way, I just I love loud music. I love loud music, so I just play very loud music and I start dancing. It helps. It really works for me. So you have to find out what you love doing and doing it. Just do it. Just do it. If it means you live in the house, what you love to do, hang out, go out. Just do it and leave. Mental health should be something we invest on. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was listening to a show and person was like, people, people, when, when I say, um, 
my leg is broken. You be like, see a doctor. At least there is something you have to say. But when I talk about my, I'm mentally distressed. You be like, okay. Sorry. You are going. It's like you are going mad. You know. <laughs> It's like you're going you must like just get the know? sorry and yeah you know. yeah but hey, then, yeah hey. sorry how do you feel now oh god <laughs> but really we should also okay what's happening you can talk to me i'm here to listen you don't have to worry you know mm -hmm. give that sort of you know assurance and to the guys the please there's no pressure on you you don't have to be the better person at in every situation yeah. feel free to yeah open. feel free to you know talk tell, about talk about issues. exactly you talk about your mental health issues you don't have to be the superman in every situation you don't have to be the superman in everything you're doing at all we are humans yeah. you're human you guys also and the thing is male face mom and um, they face yeah. mental health you know research shows the so that they, they have a higher percentage of yes, men mental, who face mental, mental health, health issues so they and, never talk about it and that's because society if you oh I'm the man, I should know how to, you know, deal Please, with it. there's no there's there's Please. nothing like male or female is mental yeah. health. Though. There's nothing a like male or female in there too. So. It just comes. It huh? comes. And it just take care of yourself. Forget you forget you're the man, forget you're the woman. Just be good, take care of your health, take yeah. care of yourself, take care of everything that has to do with you and make sure you are good. Yeah. Now, before we go, we would like to try some form of little yoga. Let's do some mind meditation. Yeah, I, I would love to try it. Now, take a position. Now, think of something. It works. Now, let's do one. And I remain your host, in heart of faith. And I, I remain Kazim Amolola. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also don't forget to comment Very whatever your, your observations, exactly. your, um, your contributions in this con um, conversation. Sure, yeah. So just comment it and you get a like. You know what? I, I get I, I get calls and be like, oh my goodness, your your show is really it helped me. Why don't you comment? I want to see it on the comment section. You know, comment. Let the world yeah, see what you at want. Least. You That's know, how let the world it. see. We want to know that we are actually reaching out to people mm -hmm. out there. So with your comment, it's and those of you that like, after the show you come to my WhatsApp DM. Yes, please. Let's see. I will block. You know, block, delete, block, delete. <laughs> comment it here. Let us see you. Those English used to throw in my DM. Come and put it here. Let us see you. Anyway, oh, you. Let's don't see follow. You. Don't forget to follow us on Stone TV every Saturday, 7:30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Do the spell stuff. S T O N T T V. TV. As in S T O N T T V. <laughs> All right, guys. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>